Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Andy Chung. I'm the marketing manager supporting NGS Automation at、uh, Roche Sequencing and Life Science. As many of you know, library preparation is an、uh, important and essential part of NGS workflow. But no matter how streamlined the library prep protocol is, it is just not fun to do. It's laborious, time consuming, and it requires a lot of focus to not make any mistakes. That's why lab automation has become a great solution for NGS library prep. But automation also comes with its own challenges as well.、Uh, learning how to use a system, developing new protocols, keeping up with all the hardware software updates,、uh, and maintaining the equipment、uh, just requires a lot of effort and time. Today, we have invited two of our Roche NGS experts to help us uncover some of these challenges. We will also take the opportunity to share more about our new Avenio Edge system and explain how it is designed to overcome some of these challenges. But first,、uh, please let me introduce our NGS experts, Terry and Scott. Terry Mueller is our field application consultant who has been with Roche for over 15 years. Terry has various NGS applications and instrumentation experience and has spent over 23 years in the field of genomics. Scott Vero is our senior automation support scientist who has spent over 20 years working in the field of NGS.、Uh, he has developed NGS workflows、uh, and automating them on various automated lip handling systems. It's great to have both Scott and、uh, Terry to join us today. Scott and、uh, Terry, in your careers, you have supported many NGS applications. What are some challenges you have seen, and can you share some of your personal experiences with us as well? Thanks, Andy.、Um, I would say easily it's the amount of hands on time. Lab technicians basically glued to their bench, barely enough time to go to lunch or even go to the restroom. Yeah, I, I totally agree, Terry. And that's why I learned to program liquid handlers early in my career.、Um, if more labs would invest in automation, they'd quickly see that they can get more work done with the same amount of people, and then those people can go and do other things. But to get automation up and running, I mean, you've got to have someone who knows how to program a liquid handler.、Yeah. Um, and you also have to have someone that has some biochemistry. You know, a lot of times, You don't have that type of person in your lab. You usually have to have two, two separate people to do that.、Um, and not to mention, you don't only need the liquid handler, you need the thermocycler, you need the、um, magnet for cleanups, you need shakers, you need room on the deck for the tips、um, as well. Right. And that's a big thing that labs underestimate. They think they can go out and just buy all this stuff from all these different places, put it together, and it will just work. In reality, it takes six months, maybe more,、uh, to get one of these workflows up and running just, just because of that fact.、Um, okay, so if the hands on time is an issue that we all know, is there anything else that you've seen out in the field? Yeah,、position? I mean, I, I would say the next big one is people.、Um, uh, most labs are understaffed for the amount of work that they have. Um, everyone's running around trying to get things done.、Um, so you can get interrupted very easily、um, while you're doing a,、um, making a master mix or multi dispensing across a plate.、Um, and then there's also those variations between technicians. So one might tip mix, one might vortex.、Um, it depends on how long they might do that, which then ca can cause some variabilities within、right. the data as well. Right. And that's, again, the great thing about automation it only can do. One thing, one way. It's the same way every time. Whether it's transfer volumes, if it's going to use tip, the tips for mixing, if it's going to vortex for mixing,、um, incubation times, it's going to be the same way every time, no matter what. Okay, but then two questions for you. So, what if you don't want to do it the same way every time? Yeah, what if、yeah. you have A different number of samples, or you had more or less PCR cycles you wanted to run, or you know, different start and stop position times on, on that that you would like to do. And then, secondly, 
don't you guys have to spend a lot of time to get this liquid handler set up and running accurately? Uh, yes. Initially, you do have to spend uh, time with the pipetting to get accurate transfers, but that's where our experience really comes in. We've been doing this for a long time, so we've figured it out for a, a lot of different techniques to move liquids around accurately so we can take everything that we've learned in the past, apply it to new development processes, and that really cuts down on the development time dramatically. Sure. And then for the first question about being able to change variables, things like how many samples I'm doing, PCR cycles. Um, so just like the pipetting, we've built methods over time that are completely locked down, that allow for no adjustment, all the way to methods that give users a, a huge range of flexibility throughout the entire method. And what we found is somewhere right in the middle is um, what suits the most labs. We understand that labs have their own uh, tweaks that they like to make uh, for methods. So what we do is we make the certain parts of the method that are appropriate for these these tweaks available um, to customers. Uh, but the other thing that's a real underestimation is being able to allow this flexibility in a method um, is complicated to program in. And then it creates a lot of paths that a method can take. So all of these paths need to be verified. This is huge cost and it's a huge investment of time at the very end of the development process that's usually overlooked. Um, but it's actually interesting. We have a new instrument um, called the Avenio Edge that addresses a lot of what we've just been talking about. Uh, Andy, would you mind telling us a little bit more about the Avenio Edge? Thank you both uh, for sharing your experiences, Terry and Scott. I'm sure many folks in the audience can certainly relate to uh, your stories and experience. Uh, you know, doing NGS sample prep manually is a way in the past, to be honest. Uh, but automating NGS workflows is all too often a privilege of labs that have the automation expertise. It takes a lot of time to train new users, uh, implement long and complex workflows that involves many device integrations, and not to mention work with multiple vendors uh, sometimes, while under the pressures to meet all the product timelines can be very tough. Uh, and this is why we're launching a new product called the Avenue Edge system. The Vigno Edge system is a class one IVD system that takes purified DNA and prepares the sequencing ready libraries. Uh, we launched this product earlier this year and it is now commercially available in the US. Uh, it's fully enclosed and integrated with all the necessary devices needed uh, for library preparation, target enrichment, uh, post capture pooling and library quantification, all in one box. Avenue Edge is quite unique in its kind uh, because it uh, provides what we call a true walkaway experience to its users. Uh, as we know, many automated workflows still requires the users to be around and frequently come back to the system. Uh, sometimes that's because not all the devices are fully integrated with the uh, uh, automated liquid handler. Uh, sometimes certain steps uh, just require a little bit more of um, babysitting, right? Making sure the liquid handler is doing what it's supposed to do. On the Avenue Edge system, for each sample run, only 20 minutes of manual setup is needed. After the run starts, the user can just simply walk away completely and work on other things without constantly thinking about uh, when and uh, whether there's the need to go back to the workbench. We uh, have a short video that showcases some of the key highlights of the Vigno Edge system. And I'm gonna play that video right now and we'll come back to discuss more about these features.
All right, as you saw in the video, we designed Avenue Edge to specifically address those challenges around the traditional NGS automation solutions. Scott, would you please take a moment and share uh, more about these features that we just saw in the video? Yes, Andy, I'd be happy to. Full integration of a thermocycler, heater shaker, cooling blocks, a proprietary magnetic position, and an onboard quantification module are the key features that make this a truly walkaway system. One power button turns on the entire system, including all the integrated devices I just mentioned. Based on the number of samples selected for a run, the integrative load compatible touchscreen provides step-by-step -step placement instructions for each consumer. To ease instrument setup, the tip and reagents are on drawers and the instrument has bright LED lighting to aid in setup. Reagents are ready mixed and barcoded. Preparing and dispensing master mixes is no longer required. All the plastic consumables are barcoded. Pipette tip racks are color coded and partially used racks can be left on the instrument to use in the next run. At the start of each run, the system first scans all the barcodes to verify the deck setup is correct and then performs an additional physical verification utilizing the pressure sensitive capabilities of its A-channel head to verify that the microfuge caps are removed and plates are not inverted 180 degrees. Finally, the built-in control software allows the user to customize run parameters such as amplification conditions and cycles ligation and hybridization times, and bead cleanup ratios. The software also provides a complete log for limbs integration. It records weekly maintenance and has an integrated UV decontamination option. Thank you so much, Scott. To show how Avenue Edge can truly transform users' experience, we actually performed an internal study to compare the Avenue Edge HyperCap workflow to our manual Kappa HyperCap workflow, uh, as well as the same workflow on two other open platform automation systems. Uh, as you can see here on this graph, Avenue Edge only requires 14 manual steps compared to the other workflows. And this includes the normalization of input samples, DNA library prep, target enrichment using our Kappa HyperX zone panel, library quantification, and post-capture pooling. As a result, uh, as you can see on the right here, Avenue Edge significantly reduces the manual steps required for this workflow. And the opportunities for user errors are also reduced by 91% compared to the manual preparation and by 88% compared to the other two automation workflows. In the same study, we also looked at the hands-on time required to complete uh, this workflow. Again, this includes input sample normalization, uh, library prep, target enrichment, library quant, uh, post-capture pooling, as well as the time required to uh, clean up the workstation after the sample run. Uh, the graph here shows Avenue Edge only requires 106 minutes of total hands-on time. And as you can see here, doing all that manually or on the other automation platforms require, require a lot more time. In fact, Avenue Edge can help save over nine hours of hands-on time compared to manual preparation. And what's also important here is that these hours of time saved are uninterrupted. So Avenue Edge is a system designed specifically to offer a refreshing NGS automation experience. In addition to the uh, product design, we also want to leverage Roche's experienced and extensive support network uh, to offer our users uh, a peace of mind. For example, Avenue Edge instrument and all its uh, integrated devices, software, applications, and even reagents are all supported by Roche. This means an Avenue Edge user would no longer need to work and coordinate with multiple different vendors. 
The deployment or implementation of a Vino Edge is also much faster compared to the other uh, traditional automation systems. Uh, installation takes about three days. Uh, there's no additional integration services needed because uh, it comes with all the devices already integrated. Uh, our field application scientists would also provide basic user training on site. No prior automation experience and knowledge is required. And this means potentially it can get all set up and up and running within just a couple of weeks. Um, and also the accuracy of pipetting, obviously it's very important during the NGS simple prep process. Um, our Roche service team will ensure the entire system, including all the devices, are calibrated to their optimal conditions. Uh, pipetting app verification is performed during every Avenio Edge installation and preventive maintenance service. The routine user maintenance is also very simple, and there's an on-screen instruction for the user to, uh, to follow very easily. So we believe Avenio Edge system will be able to help many labs transitioning away from manual NGS uh, and overcome the traditional challenges with lab automation. If you have any questions about Avenio Edge and what we talked about today, please visit sequencing.roche.com slash Avenio Edge. Simply fill out a short form and we will be more than happy to further discuss with you. We also have a self-guided virtual tour available uh, for Avenio Edge if you just want to check it out and learn more about these features we talked about today. With that, this concludes our session today. Terry and Scott, I want to thank you both again for joining me uh, and sharing your experience with us. To all of you tuning in, thank you so much. We appreciate your time and interest and have a great day.